No matter how experienced you are in JavaScript and TypeScript, there are still common pitfalls to avoid and better syntaxes to use. That's where tools like ESLint and Prettier can help. In this video, we'll show you how to install and configure both Prettier and ESLint. Prettier is a code formatter where you can specify your spacing, whether you want to use semicolons, what quotation you prefer, and more. It enforces a consistent style by parsing your code and reprinting it with its own rules. First, install it locally using npm. Prettier has its defaults, but you can change these values via a .prettierrc file located at the root of your project. A script in the package.json should be used so you can easily target the locally installed instance, and you can run that script. ESLint is a configurable and pluggable tool that lints your code based on rules. These rules enable a wide range of code analysis and assertion. To install ESLint, there are several other modules you'd need. To configure ESLint, you can define the configuration in the .eslintrc.json and would look something like this. The extends configuration tells ESLint what configuration sets to extend from. The parser configuration tells ESLint to run the code through a parser when analyzing the code. The plugins array is where you'll define which plugins to use. The rules object is where you can override other rules applied by the configuration sets defined in the extends config. Since ESLint is pluggable, we can use Prettier within ESLint. To do this, we need to install the configuration set and plugin. To use these two modules, we need to add two configuration sets to ESLint's extends array, the plugin to the plugins array, and a rule. The new .eslintrc.json would look like this. Now, when you run the ESLint script, prettier errors will now be ESLint errors, and you no longer have to run the prettier scripts and can remove them from the scripts object. Want to learn how to integrate ESLint into your Git repository? Read more on our blog by clicking the link on your screen. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials.